What do you think? Eggnog latte, 1.30 in the morning? <laughs> I think that sounds like a great idea. So everybody, this is why you do not order Lego at 2 a.m. off the Lego website. Oh my gosh. White tile. I accidentally ordered white tile instead of light gray. And then I ordered light gray tile instead of dark gray. I'm telling you right now, that sucks. I'm going to call customer service and see what they do for me, so stay tuned. How many times have I ordered tiles from LEGO, specifically light gray ones? Probably 50 times. Like, no word of a lie. And I've never made that mistake. But when you look at the LEGO website, white looks like light gray, and light gray looks like dark gray. The images are misleading, I'm telling you. It's an easy mistake to make. You've got to click on it to make sure you have the right color selected or go through the drop box and select the color you want so it only populates that color when you search tile or whatever it is. Brutal mistake. I bet that they are going to do something for me. I almost guarantee it. So I'm excited to see what that is. Obviously, customer service isn't open right now at 1.33 in the morning, but the eggnog latte station, that's open. So everybody, I started working this morning at 9.30 a.m. It's now 1.30. I took a two-hour break and hung out with Jose, and I watched the Holiday Baking Championship and sat in the hot tub. I smashed my back when I was crawling underneath the table. When I put the inserts in that fill the table, I used 2 by 6s I should have used 2 by 4s because I've hit my head way too many times, and I've first time hitting my back... And it floored me. Like, I laid on the ground for a minute. Like, I swear I almost broke my back. Like, it hurt. My back still hurts. Like, it's right in the spine. It was brutal. Look at these 2x6s. I'll show you. I should have made this 2x4 or even 2x3. And you know what? It'd be an easy fix. So, the smash of the back today is uh, the final straw. I'm going to be changing that. So what happened was is I sort of like crawled on all fours rather than sliding on my knees and I left my back arched too high and I nailed like my spine right on the two by six. It hurt. I was like, oh, is it worth it filling in that stuff there? So we have more space in the Lego city? Absolutely. Is it harder to access the Lego city? Absolutely. Is it way harder to bring in plates like giant Ninjago mountains? that are all one solid piece, 100%. But we got a lot more space for a lot more cool modular buildings. So yeah, I'm glad we did that. But those two by sixes, boy, oh boy, they got to go. That was the final straw, Mr. Sillyhead. Oh my gosh, buddy, like that hurt. He was just staring at me. It actually happened right here. And I was coming this way after I placed the, uh, or was working on the bear exhibit. I was calling this way, boom. <laughs> The first thing that I got to take care of today slash, I guess, tonight is shipping. So I've set up the Brixie ship station here to get this done as quickly and as efficiently as possible so I can get back to the fun stuff, which is Lego City Building. This is the third time that he's woken up in the last three hours. He's wailing. See? Third time. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I got to go deal with it. Bye. What's up? What's up? You're not sleeping tonight? No? No. No sleep for you. Look at your brother. He passed out. But you're wide awake. So I'm cruising right along with the shipping. And it's now 4.30 a.m. So I lost track of time there. I should probably go to bed, considering Simon's coming over at 10 a.m. Yeah, successful day though. Got lots of stuff done, so that's good. Whew! And tomorrow's gonna be another day just like this. Guaranteed, this whole week is hectic. I got so much stuff happening this week. Holy cow, it's hard to keep up. Holy crap, everybody. Check this out. Pretty hard to film myself, but look at that. That's my back. 
I told you I hit my back hard on that two by six. It hurt. Oh, that's scary. So who's ready to check out the giant Lego Star Wars Darth Vader minifigure that hosts the Darth Vader helmet? This thing is actually crazy. It's so cool. He's massive. Look at him beside the Lego Harry Potter minifigure. Yeah. <laughs> it is way bigger. That is so cool. Yeah, so it's got some nice detail here with the uh, torso and then also his belt, his lightsaber. Now, his arms do articulate and they can stay in spot just like that there, which is pretty awesome. His uh, hand holding the lightsaber used to articulate as well. It used one of these blue pins, but we decided to switch it out with a small Technic axle because it was really loose, so it flopped from side to side. Uh, it's just one modification that we decided to make to the model. He's got the chain over his chest here, the light gray, the dark gray. Uh, these here, these plates, you can see we used one by one white plates. They're supposed to be the modified one by one white plates with the black line in the center, but I didn't have any of those. But either way, it looks really good. Also, check out the cape on the back here. It is robust. I will say that uh, the cape is not held on very securely. It does use two modified plates with the clips on the top of it, but it blends together quite nicely with the body there. And it is heavy. It is thick with plates. Like, look at that. It's definitely better having the plate cape compared to the fabric cape. I think it looks way better, in my opinion. Just more, you know, Lego, more studs sort of matches up with the helmet vibe there as well. Because this helmet is quite study, right? Yeah. And the legs are very robust. You can actually easily remove the legs. However, he cannot stand on one leg, so I have to support him. But you can see how thick they are. And they're actually solid. And they have the stud detail on the back, of course, just like a Lego Darth Vader minifigure. And you see this Technic axle right there? If you remove that axle, he can actually be put into a sitting position. Of course, you'd have to remove his cape. I'm going to have him in a standing position and with the cape on. I think that's preferred. But yeah, really highly detailed and just looks awesome. What a great way to improve the look of the Darth Vader helmet. He's got his hand out. He's doing a force choke. <laughs> so you can see how this hand can articulate. This one cannot because we made those modifications there. There's some nice detailing on his uh, legs there as well. And I just really like his chest and the light gray with the chain. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Like this is beautiful. This is what LIGO needs to give us in this scale. I've always said they should build more of these characters in superheroes and also in Star Wars, like Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, uh, Darth Vader, I don't know, uh, anything really, Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, like they need to give us more of these. I don't think that Harry Potter was the right way to start with it. If they would have given us Darth Vader, I think they would have sold a lot more and this product would have done a lot better because the Harry Potter ones are pretty much always on sale. That means they're not doing very well. But yeah, check it out. Darth Vader Big Fig. So awesome. And I'm not talking like Hulk Big Fig. I'm talking super sized fig. Love it. You know, I always like searching Rebrickable to find awesome Rebrickable models. And we searched Vader and we found that uh, mega figure. I was calling it a big figure, but it's actually a mega figure. I guess if you search Darth Vader, it's going to populate it a little bit better there. But there's like bus. There's all sorts of awesome Darth Vader stuff here on Rebrickable.com. And the mega figure really caught my attention. Uh, this was done by Albo Lego. We've been meaning to do this for so long. So the body here, it actually takes 1,880 parts to create. Uh, we parted them out from our inventory and then we ordered a bunch from Lego as well. Now you can see what I was talking about there on the torso, like on his belt, there's some of those modified pieces with the print detailing. Definitely would look a lot better if I upgraded that one day. Uh, but yeah, it, it looks really good. I mean, pretty fantastic. Pretty easy fo to follow instructions. Uh, Simon did build this one here uh, just because I just haven't had a chance. I've been working on the zoo and working on other stuff and editing videos and making videos. And I sort of wanted to build this one. I'm sort of jealous. <laughs> I won't lie. It looks really good. And 
I sort of like those big figures. I remember building that Harry Potter one. When we built those, I actually built the Harry Potter and Jose built uh, Hermione. But yeah, there we go. Lego Darth Vader Big Fig done by Albo Lego. Okay, so now that shipping's done and Darth Vader is built, we're looking to start another project. And that new project is going to be converting the El Cubo Fine Art Cafe, which is a rebrickable model of the boutique hotel, into a giant hotel, which is a different rebrickable model. So I've got to extract these two sets right here from the Lego City, and then we're going to start parting them out. So this is going to be crazy because we're going to combine both of these huge modular buildings into one giant modular building. It's going to look way better in my opinion. I've like wanted to do this for quite some time. Ever since I saw the rebrickable model, I was like, for sure we're doing that. Just haven't had a time to do it. You've probably heard me mention it in my videos over the last few months at least. So yeah, first thing we got to do is take both of these apart. I mean, there's probably a way to do it that we don't have to take apart like this here, right? But whatever. At that point, we may as well just rebuild it all together. And I think it's going to be a pretty fun experience. So we're going to part everything out here by part type. And it's going to be quite the process. Got all our containers here and we're ready to go. I'm back on Rebrickable here and I want to show you all the different boutique hotel alt builds that are available right now. There are a ton. Like there's a lot of creators that have gone through and created really cool alternate builds for this modular building that came out last year. You can see this one here takes it from a corner building and converts it to just a regular street building. It's pretty neat. It's not the one we're doing. This is done by PL Mox. PL Mox uh, created the alt build, which is the dinosaur exhibit. Yeah, and then this one here is just like a straight up double hotel. This one's crazy, 5,222 pieces. Yeah, that's wild, that's a beast. That's not the one we're gonna be doing. Uh, neither is this one here, but this one here is known as the Garden Palace Restaurant. So it's a restaurant, something completely different using all the parts from that. Uh, there's also this one here, which is just a more complete corner. You can see the hotel is spread over on top of the El Cubo Fine Art Gallery rather than having like the little patio on the top there. But it's still not the one that we're going to be doing. Neither is this one here, but it is a beast. It's actually done by the same designer that designed the one that we're going to be doing. Uh, this one here takes a combination, makes it onto a 64 by 48 base plate. Uh, three boutique hotels to create this one here. It is absolutely monstrous. Also, the vintage taxi. But yeah, this one's huge. So yeah, there's all sorts of different boutique hotels, but this is the one that we're specifically going to do. So it keeps it as a corner, but it adds this second building right here. So it's like an extension of the hotel and I actually like the filler right here. There must be connecting hallways that bring you from this section of the hotel to this section of the hotel. And I really like the one that we did with Lego Artisan. It was the El Cubo Fine Art Cafe, which you can find here on Rebrickable as well. But I think this is just going to look more like a cohesive set. And it's one giant hotel, which sort of makes more sense than what we currently have. So I'm really excited to build this one here. And once again, this is available on Rebrickable. And it's done by Fan Piexi, I believe it is. I've never done one of uh, their models, but I'm really excited to build this one here and integrate it into the Lego City. There's Darth Vader beside Grogu. Oh, he's not quite as big as Santa Claus. I'm trying to think of where to put this Darth Vader mega figure. I think it'd be neat to put him right there, fill in that space behind the Star Destroyer. However, he would be a little bit hidden there. But I think at this time, that's really the only spot that I have for him because my shelves are once again overflowing. So yeah, I've got some plans in the future though. We're gonna be, uh, Revamping the shelving. That's another thing that I wanted to do before the December 2022 Lego room overview, but that might not get done because we're already midway through December. But I think temporarily I'm just going to place that Darth Vader right there because that's technically like a ship that Darth Vader would be on, right? It makes sense. In fact, that set could have came with a Darth Vader minifigure, but it didn't. So that definitely is not going to be my final home for him because you can barely see the guy. But look how big he is. <laughs> Pretty much fills up that whole shelf, which is really neat. I would like to, I guess I could have just put him by the Death Star or by the Imperial Shuttle there. Realistically, it'd be nice to get that Imperial Shuttle in flight mode. And realistically, it'd be nice to get these two UCS sets on display and display them better, that being Red 5 and also uh, the Ewok Village. Hey, 
on uh, Thursday on my next stream, we're going to be giving away the office set because that's not a good spot for it and I don't have anywhere to put it. So I'm going to be giving away the office set uh, during that stream. I guess I could have put Vader right here as well by Buzz Lightyear, his pal Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> there you go. Pretty cool though. I like him. He's just sort of popping his head up behind the Star Destroyer. We got them both parted out. Look at that. Not bad. Lots of pieces. Look at all the slopes, inverted slopes, arches, bricks. Kept some of the little stuff inside built, like the little uh, pieces of furniture. Odds are we're probably going to use some of that stuff again. We got circular pieces, one by one bricks, one by one small stuff, panels, windows, uh, tiles. A lot of tiles. Look at that. That's crazy. Uh, odd shaped plate. A ton of odd shaped plate too. Almost two, well, a cup and a half there. Uh, large plates, circular bricks, uh, two by plates, snot bricks. Yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy how many pieces are going to go into this new boutique hotel rebrickable model. So you're going to see that uh, probably in the. So you're going to see that model in the Lego City probably within one week from today, maybe. Pretty neat. Pretty excited. Gonna go right in the uh, Lego City here. Also, we're gonna have to do a bunch of reshuffling with the modular buildings because the one that I placed in the Lego City right there behind the graveyard is hideous there. I cannot stand to look at that colorful back for another moment. So that's gotta move. Also, we're gonna have to find a new home for that because it's not gonna fit here. It's a corner the other direction. So therefore, it's the domino effect and I've gotta shuffle a whole bunch of stuff. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a new modular building coming out on January 1st. So that's gonna to have to go in the Lego City here as well. So we've got some exciting stuff happening in the Lego City in the near future. Also, we built my buddy Darth and he looks pretty good over there behind the Star Destroyer. Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. Remember, like, subscribe and stay tuned for some more great stuff. Farewell.